Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on exponential and linear models. Okay, this one says write the linear and exponential model for the following sets of points. And we have two sets of points. So for each, we'll start with the linear and then we'll write the exponential. So for the linear, what we're going to do is we're first going to find the slope. So the slope is 10 minus 4 over 1 minus 0, which is 6 over 1, which is 6. So y equals 6x. Now, 0, 4, that's the y-intercept, so plus 4. 4, let's do the linear for the other. We'll just get all the linear out of the way. For our next one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start with the slope. So slope is... 45 minus 6 over 8 minus 0. So we have 39 over 8. We could go to decimal, but we'll leave it as a fraction. There's no reason not to. There's no reason to do more work than we have to. So again, we have our y-intercept. So y equals 39 over 8x plus 6. So there you have it. We have our linear equation for both sets of ordered pair. Okay, so now let's look at the exponential. Linear means we add to move forward. We were trying to figure out what we add to 4 to get to 10. We were figuring out what we had to add to 6 over and over 8 times specifically to get to 45. That's what linear is. Linear means what do we add to move forward. Exponential means what do we multiply. Our generic for exponential is y equals c a to the x. So again, c like b is our y-intercept. So again, we have our initial, so we're only looking for a. We're tr trying to figure out what we multiply to move forward. So 4 times a equals 10. If we divide both sides by 4, a is equal to, and this time I'll go to decimal. Exponentials tend to go to decimal pretty quickly. So y is equal to 4 times 2.5 to the x. All right, now for our exponential down here. Again, we are multiplying to move forward. We start at six, we multiply by a, we move up to 45. If we divide both sides by six, we find out that a is equal to 6.5. But this time, it's not one step that we're multiplying by 6.5. We're multiplying actually eight steps. So we wanna figure out what one step is, and that's really one eighth of the process. So a is not 6.5, it's 6.5 to the power of 1 8th. Exponential means you only affect things in the exponent position. So we're not gonna change anything with adding or subtracting or multiplying or dividing, we're gonna change everything in the exponent position, which means our equation becomes y equals, our initial is still six, times 6.5 to the x divided by eight because x isn't going by up by one, it's going by up by eight. So we take that input and we divide it by eight. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.